Welcome to this PALMS demonstration video on the topic of investigating shadows. A shadow is formed when an object partially blocks a source of light. An example of this is when you stand outside on a sunny day and your body blocks some of the light coming from the sun. You can see the shape of your body as a shadow on the ground or buildings next to you. You may have also had some fun making shadow animals on a wall using your hands and a torch. A shadow play uses elaborately carved puppets like those shown in the bottom right picture to project shadows onto a screen to help tell a story. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth is between the Sun and the Moon and the Earth blocks some or all of the sunlight from reaching the Moon's surface, causing the Earth's shadow to move across the Moon as the objects move in their orbits. To carry out some shadow investigations, you'll need the following equipment. You'll need a small torch, a ruler, some elastic bands, a figurine or object, we've used a Lego figurine. You'll also need some paper, some coloured pencils, some blue tack or another set of hands from a helper, and also some chalk. To get set up, you'll need to attach the torch to one end of a ruler using the elastic bands. You'll then need to place your figurine in the centre of the paper and use a small amount of blue tack to stop them falling over. Place a larger piece of blue tack next to the figurine and anchor the ruler so it's vertical with the torch facing down onto the figurine. Then you can get started. Darken the room and turn on the torch. Using a coloured pencil, trace around the shadow that the figurine casts on the piece of paper. It may be easier if you do have someone to help you as they can hold the torch and stop it moving around. Slowly move the ruler in one direction, trying to make sure that it stays upright. Pause every so often and trace around the new shadow that the figurine is casting on the paper. You might like to do it in different colours as it gives you a great art effect. Repeat this process starting at the centre position but moving in the opposite direction this time. What do you notice about the shapes of the shadows? Here's our finished product. We think it's a pretty cool piece of art. But it also shows some interesting things about the details that show up in the different shadows as the light was moved around the object. The next thing we're going to investigate is making a shadow graph. For this you'll need a sunny day. So stand outside with your back to the sun so your shadow stretches out in front of you. Unfortunately, we didn't have a fine sunny day in time to make this video, so we'll have to demonstrate what to do using our friend Mr. T-Rex and a torch. By the way, this is easiest if you have someone to help you. Stand in the same spot at different times throughout the day, marking where the top of your shadow is, as well as the time. Once you've marked a few different shadows, measure the distance from the point you were standing to the different marks. What did you notice about your shadow close to midday? And what was the difference in your shadow in the morning compared to the afternoon? Now that you've tried these ideas, there's lots of other things you can investigate about shadows. You can investigate if your shadow always lies in one direction. Also, if tall people always have longer shadows than small people. Can you step away from your shadow? You can investigate if you can cross your shadows with another person. You can also investigate if the edges of a shadow become crisper or fuzzier with the distance away from a source of light. Try investigating if you can change the shape of your shadow. A hint for this one is to have the light at your back. Also investigate if a coloured light will give you a coloured shadow. And can you have multiple shadows? Thanks for watching this Palms demonstration video. For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, take a look at our website palms.edu.au